Hi guys, welcome back to Sofa Club TV and welcome to another setup. We are in a different room today. This is our chill out living area and I'm going to show you exactly how we've styled this room in a second. But today's video is all about how to decorate a beautiful living space in your home. If you watched our previous two episodes, you would have seen that we touched on four autumnal trends that are really popular this season. So please refer back to that if you're trying to sort of spruce up your home ready for for autumn and our most recent episode we discussed how to create a room using a Pinterest board. Today's episode we are going to give you another four tips on how to create a beautiful living space. So let's get straight in. So tip number one is to pick a colour palette and we would suggest picking no more than three colours per room. This will just really help when you're trying to figure out sort of the furniture and the home decor and how you're going to bring in the various colours. If you would like some inspiration for colour palettes then you can refer back to other episodes. Our first one when we did our home sense haul shows how we decorated one of our rooms with blush pink, light grey and then we also brought in an accent colour with the colour teal. So you can see that we've used three colours in that room. Our most recent episode you would have seen how we went for sort of mustard yellows, we went for greys, we went for blacks. So again you've got the three colours and we were able to utilise them really nicely. We had the big grey sofa, we went for mustard coloured pillows and then we also brought in mustard and grey through the throws and the rug and the plants. This room, as you can see, is a brand new space and we have gone very shabby chic. So the three colours in here are similar colours but we've gone for the blacks or the sort of very dark charcoal greys and the silvers. These two sofas are our epic sofas and we thought they just look so good keeping it monochrome. So as you can see, we've got different textures going on with the cushions and we've got the sort of really light greys um, against the textured silver pillows and also black pillows. Another tip when picking your colour palette is to research home accessories and decor because you might think you want to go for sort of a deep purple but then when you come to trying to find sort of home accessories and cushions and various home decor you might not find as much purple decor as you like. That is just a example but yeah definitely check and research into sort of what you want in your living room and make sure that that's the colour palette that you are going for. Okay, so tip number two is create functional walkways. Now I have already touched on this in episode seven, but it's something we absolutely swear by and I think it's good to keep bringing it up because it will help you guys when you are creating the living spaces in your home. So functional walkways is allowing for space around your bigger pieces of furniture. So things like sofas, your coffee table, maybe you've got a dining room table, you've got chairs, a feature bookshelf, anything you have in your living room, you want to make sure that you are creating enough walking space. There is nothing worse than not measuring your furniture properly and it all coming and just looking really crammed and you're sort of squeezing around your coffee table or you can't even get up from your sofa. So please, please, please measure. That is so, so important. And we would advise if you've got a larger space to work with, maybe you can go for a three-piece and a two-piece sofa. If you've got a smaller space that you're working with, it might be nice to go for a corner sofa and have it up against the wall. Just really check your measurements and utilise your walking space because this will make a room so much more aesthetically pleasing if you have room to walk around. Okay, so tip number three is soften your living room space. And you can do this by adding cushions, adding rugs, throws, flowers. Softening the room is just going to make it super homely and cozy and bring in different textures. This will add warmth, this will add depth. A rug is always a good idea if you've got a big piece of floor that is not being used. We also advise getting a gallery wall if you've got a big wall that you need to fill and you just don't know what to do with it. Maybe you're in a rented house so you can't wallpaper it or you can't paint it. So adding a gallery wall is a really, really good idea. They're not expensive. You can find so many print companies online. We are going to show you one that we have done in our office. So this is as you walk into our office space. 
we had a big wall here and we didn't know what to do with it so we bought some decenio prints and we used these beautiful rose gold frames we've got a chair feature underneath and it just totally transformed this space from being really bland and boring to looking beautiful when you walk in to our offices Finally, tip number four is adding those finishing touches. Now, it's a bit similar to softening the room by adding sort of extra details in, but you can really finish off a room by adding things like beautiful trays, candles, diffusers, plants, anything like this is just going to make your living room look totally finished. In here, we have got a beautiful mirrored tray with candles and a heart feature. We have some diffusers on our shelves we also have some prints that we really like and we also bought this beautiful vase from the range with some faux flowers in to just finish off this space so guys I really hope those tips help you guys they are pick a color palette create functional walkways soften your living space and add finishing touches if you guys have any questions then please leave us a comment below if you're watching on youtube don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe and we will see you in our next episode bye guys